to sleep with this amount of guys within a space of time. That's not an accomplishment. You need to heal. Hey ladies and welcome back. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you've seen from the title, today we're going to be talking about why you need to heal before getting into another relationship. If you're here, my name is Vivian and I love making faith content to encourage women on their walk with God in different areas of their lives, right? So if you're interested, if you want to grow as a woman, make sure to subscribe and join the family. So why this subtopic is so important is because I see a lot of people going into relationships back back to back to back, no breaks in between. You need a break in between those relationships. The thing with dating, the dating culture, especially, you know, the culture that we're in at the moment, dating back to back is promoted so much. It's become normal. You leave a relationship, three months later, you're in another relationship and it seems okay, it seems fine, but honestly, the damage that we are causing to ourselves over time is really, really not worth it. I don't believe in being with different people back to back, all in the name of trying to find the one. I believe in surrendering our love lives to God, and I know that while we do need to, while you do need to pull yourself out there, you know, once in a while as a woman, it's so important to actually allow God to lead you to the man that He has prepared for you, right? But the, the danger with dating back to back is that you keep merging with different people emotionally, most times, sometimes even physically as well, with spiritually all these different people and you're leaving pieces of yourself with each and every one of them you're forming soul ties with each of these people and people don't realize that the danger of this is you might think you're getting better in terms of oh i know how to be in a relationship better but that isn't necessarily the case right when you don't take the time to actually heal when you don't take the time to actually get to know yourself, when you don't take the time to actually grow closer to God, when you don't take the time to actually discover who you are as a woman, then how are you going to be able to filter through who is actually meant to be in your life? We shouldn't be looking at relationships so casually to the point it's like, okay, I'm bored, I'm lonely and I want to be with somebody and so you get into another relationship. That's not how we should be living our lives, ladies. And that's why God wants us to really see the value of the single season. Because that's what it is. It's a season. But there's so much value. There's so much There's so much um, goodness that can be in that season. If you change and shift your perspective from seeing it as a time of, oh, nobody wants me or I'm bored and all these things. But if you switch your mentality, allow the Lord to heal you and begin to see the value of the single season, you'll see yourself being so busy or too busy to be in a relationship. Not because relationships are bad, you know, generally speaking. Not because they just, it's bad when it's done wrongly. It's bad when it's done at the wrong time. It's bad when it's done with the wrong motive and intention. Do you get so so what i'm trying to say is right if you've been hurt before if you've gone through trauma in the past relationship if you've been abused emotionally if you've been through toxic cycles please take the time to heal please take the time give the lord time to restore you internally so that you can see men differently so that you can see relationships differently so you can see your life all together in the way that god actually designed for it to be and for you to see it I believe that a woman who knows her worth isn't going to just make her sit herself available to just everybody because you you see yourself as pearl like the bible says a pearl of great worth you have great worth you are valuable so don't cheapen yourself by just being with 10 guys within a year and see and, and the, the issue is women are now seeing that as an accomplishment as something great that they're able to pull 10 guys or they're able to pull so many guys within a space of time or they're able to sleep with this amount of guys within a space of time that's not an accomplishment you need to heal stop connecting yourself to people that are not your husband There's something great that i do see a lot of women do is that they like they, they're like you know, I'm just going to take this next one year, two years to just be by myself, to just heal, to just grow my walk with God. That's how we should be seen it, ladies, that we need to take the time to actually invest in ourselves. That we need to take the time to actually grow. We need to take the time to actually mature emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally. Another issue with not healing before getting into another into another relationship, right? And this is another perspective that I want to address in today's video is that if you haven't taken the time to heal from your past or from um, a past relationship, maybe you were hurt before, 
it can cause you to see this new person the same way that the old person was not realizing that this is an entirely different person right so when you've not healed right you literally see things through the lens of trauma you just general relationship you don't want to ruin good relationships because you keep allowing your trauma to affect your future and that's what happens when you don't take the time to heal when you don't take the time to allow god to heal you to restore you to set you free from the things that held you back in the past and i made a video on um how the lord helps us how the lord can help you to overcome the guilt of your past and break the chains of the past over you and i'm passionate about talking about the past because there's something that um the Lord has helped the Lord has helped me with tremendously like you're still drawn to do the things you used to do before meanwhile you're in this new place now you're in this new phase of your life now and God wants you to do new things God wants you to grow you know and God wants you to grow and be free but so again I say please ladies heal take the time to be by yourself it's a season of life I want to challenge you if you're in a space of your life if you feel like you desperately need a relationship, maybe you just broke up with somebody recently, you need to be alone. Be discouraged and keep on waiting for the Lord because he is faithful. And perhaps there's still so much that the Lord wants you to learn in this season. Perhaps there's still so much that the Lord wants you to do with your time in this season. It is so fruitful. It is so beneficial. I discovered my purpose in my single season. I grew as a woman in my single... That's where it all began, literally. Because I was like, look, I'm going to dedicate this time to the Lord now. Ask the Lord to restore your heart. If you're heartbroken, the Lord does care. Ask him to heal your broken heart. Um, so that you don't keep carrying baggages from the past, so that you don't keep carrying, you know, a heavy weight on your chest, like internally, so you don't keep repeating the same behaviors, especially because whatever broke the last relationship, if you've not dealt with it, it will just keep repeating, and we can't keep you can't keep going in such cycles. It's unhealthy, and it's not going to help you grow as a woman so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you've gotten this far i am grateful i hope it has blessed you i hope it's encouraged you i hope you'll take up the challenge let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys